Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Guys, I actually got my hair cut today. I went with Oski and he did such an incredible job. That's why I'm in such a good mood because I was like, mm, my hair looks good. Let me just let me just film. And if you haven't already, you guys can go check out that little video that I did. I filmed it on my TikTok and he basically explains the type of haircut that he did on me just because I don't know how to explain it that well. But I hope you guys like this haircut guys i feel like it's super cute i got home and i didn't realize like i have bangs i have like actual bangs now <laughs> but they're super cute and i just it's it's like 90s hair i can't wait to like blow it out and style it but let's move on to today's video kylie cosmetics sent over a massive box with their brand new foundations these are the power plush longwear foundation i've actually never tried anything from kylie cosmetics so i'm a little intrigued by it i will say as well i've been watching a lot of the tiktok reviews kind of coming out and i was like i need to give these a try because i've been hearing a lot of positive reviews about this yeah let's get this video started so i'm gonna clip my hair back first things first per usual they sent me a bunch of different colors of foundations i've mentioned it in the past it's a little difficult to color match a foundation through when you're doing pr because obviously it's hard to match online i feel like it's even hard to match in stores but they sent me a good amount of foundation and i'm just gonna kind of test and see which color suits me best because i feel like girl i have such a hard time finding a foundation that actually matches my skin tone because i feel like it changes in different lightings my undertones my skin is difficult i forget what these are called um oh acrylic palette and a brush y'all know the history with these brushes so i'm excited to see how this blends out i'm a big brush girly so i'll let you guys know this is gonna be interesting for sure by the looks of it i'm just gonna obviously eliminate the darkest shades because let's be ffr i'm not about to waste my time trying to color match myself to these i'm gonna be left behind with the sevens which i believe is a little bit closer to my skin color i use the 7.75 in the giorgio armani luna silk golden beige in Too faced and i will say this has been my favorite color match so far i'm telling you guys i have such a hard time with getting my colors matched so on this little acrylic thing i'm going to be adding the power plush one more foundation in 7n this is 7w we're gonna put this one in the middle so my skin is already prepped and ready to go. It's nice and moisturized, so I'm hoping my foundation is going to apply super nicely. I also want to mention too, I like don't really have any peach fuzz on my face because I dermaplane myself. I know I shouldn't be doing that myself, but honestly, it is what it is. Um, I basically like shave the peach fuzz off my face and that's why my makeup applies the way that it does. I feel like not a lot of people talk about that, but that's literally why my foundation goes on so smoothly but and then this is the shade 7.5 w so this is a warm tone right now that it's kind of winter time i'm very much giving like a neutral like a neutral tone 7n also i'm matching it to the rest of my body not to my face i don't know if you guys know this but skincare and exfoliating your skin every day gets rid of dead skin cells and that's why my face always looks a million times lighter than my ac the actual rest of my body i don't self tan and i don't do any of that it's literally because my skincare that my face looks so much lighter but i'm always matching it to my body i match my foundations to my body not to my face because then i would look pale as shit from the top okay so i'm going to go in <laughs> I know it looks so dark. So what I ended up doing was adding the 7W and the 7N, which is 7 warm and 7 neutral. Because, yeah, this one's too dark. This is 7.5W and, baby girl, that is too dark for me. And I mixed them on the little palette mm. 
guys <laughs> y'all this is crazy this is crazy <laughs> this is mm -mm. okay guys i had to wipe that shit off because it was oxidizing crazy on my skin so i'm just gonna assume right now that i'm a pale girly because of winter that i'm in the neutral tones neutral <laughs> tones and we're gonna try this one more time because i'm I really want to see like the hype in this foundation. I'm just gonna add a layer of moisturizer. I'm using I'm using the Summer Fridays moisturizer. <laughs> Guys, I looked insane. I was starting to give Oompa Loompa. And I'm like, you know how I always say, like, oh trust the process, <laughs> trust the process. Because I always use color correcting and, and I use highlighters and I use lighter concealers and powders to basically like even everything out and make everything match. Well, this time it was not giving that. And I was getting really scared, and I'm usually pretty confident, but this was just not hitting. So yeah. We're gonna try this one more time, Miss Kylie. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're going to try this one more time. We have seven neutral on the palette. I'm going to take the brush. Here's what I'm going to do. If it does not match me properly, I'm just going to do my whole face. We're going to pretend like it's not orange. And I'm going to just let you guys know how it sits on me. And I'm willing to change out foundations and try a new color for the sake of it. But it's, <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> it's so y'all and they, and they sent me the eight which is even crazier like this is so much darker than me <laughs> is the light am I, is the lighting fucking <laughs> Okay, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make this work because why does it look like that? So far, the application of the actual foundation is really nice. The brush could be a lot better, I will say. So, yeah, I don't know about that. I really like that little acrylic palette, but <clears throat> yeah, as you guys can see, okay, here's this is what we're gonna talk about. This is what we're gonna we're gonna discuss right now. So I feel like this foundation is incredibly orange on me and it oxidized crazy and like instantly. But um, this has been the shade along this shade. Like I need you guys to see the color difference in the foundations. So this is the current foundation that I'm using and this is the lightest shade of foundation that I got in the kit. So yeah, this the color match was completely off so for the sake of this video i'm literally just going to um i'm just going to finish off the rest of the makeup look and i'm going to show you guys what it's supposed to look like with everything on it hopefully my yeah because y'all see this so far the blending is nice the foundation blended out beautifully onto my skin i just wish it would have been my skin color i'm just gonna do a quick set on my under eyes just because I don't like when it creases. I'm going to keep the rest of this makeup look super simple because I already, I've seen what I've needed to see. Y como que no me sirvió. Amiga, estamos en problemas. Estamos perdidas. You guys have been asking me lately if how I do my inner corner liner. I feel like it's not that hard, but sometimes it comes out better than other days. Um... So what I do is I squint my eyes a little bit because it makes this kind of pull in and then I'll lightly follow the line and that's literally how I do it. And I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm so excited for this weekend guys. I have a, such a fun vlog coming up. You guys are going to enjoy this one. I've been looking up forward to filming it and i cannot freaking wait and last but not least i'm going to be adding my lip combo i'm doing limitless limitless brown 608 from makeup forever so 
something about just like a brown lip with a gloss my favorite thing ever my mom used to do her lip liner like this in the 90s well her whole life and i started doing this and it's been my favorite and then i'm gonna be adding a clear lip gloss honestly it's just clear so anyone works and i like to blend it into the brown and kind of like blend the rest out into my lip last but not least i'm going to be using the setting spray this is the matte finish um setting spray from kylie jenner kylie cosmetics Ooh, smells interesting okay guys and that is actually it for today's makeup video i'm so sorry this did not go as expected but um yeah i definitely want to try out the foundation in my actual shade although this does not look terrible after i did all of like my uh highlighting and concealing and it kind of like lightened things up i just didn't put too much bronzer because the foundation was already kind of orange so it kind of acted like a contour bronzer for me but i do want to try out the foundation in my actual shade just because it does sit really nicely on my skin i love the way that it applied it's very very buildable it's like a medium coverage buildable coverage type of foundation um it's not sticky doesn't feel thick it doesn't feel heavy on my skin which i really really like and i packed on a heavy concealer and some powder so you guys know after a while that kind of starts to feel a little bit thicker on the skin but as of right now feels like i'm not really wearing anything so i will say 10 out of 10 it just feels matte it feels velvety it feels nice on my skin it doesn't feel cakey and although it does give a full coverage finish it just it's not it's not giving like that nasty like layers of foundation kind of vibe so i honestly really like it so like i said i'll probably end up purchasing the foundation that matches me best but we kind of made it work but <laughs> not not too much or honestly i might just give myself some time to tan because i feel like two three tans in this will match me perfectly for the summer but that is literally it um i actually really really like this foundation so that's all i gotta say about this one and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i feel like i had to tell you guys something else and i forgot so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i cannot wait to do this vlog for you guys this week i'm probably gonna have two videos up maybe possibly by sunday i don't know it's a lot i'm not making any promises but like i mentioned i love you guys and thank you guys so much for all the love and support and before you guys ask because i know you guys are already gonna ask this hand chain is from house of olia and this necklace stack is from Etika, and I will tag them on my Instagram and my stories, or um, I'll link them in the description as always. And my ring stack, which I have been wearing, a few of these rings are from Etika. One is Swarovski, I have my Cartier, and then this ring that I stole from my man's. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!